Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson video continuing the series about consumer math concepts or business math. In previous videos I've looked at tax, discount, markup. Now it's time to start talking about simple interest and compound interest. Okay, The focus here is simple interest. When you're going to invest or borrow money, how do you calculate simple interest? So the formula is I equals PRT. I is interest and the interest that you earn, or if you are borrowing the money, the interest that you pay, equals the principal, and the principal is the amount that you are going to invest or borrow, okay? Principal. All right, that's a word you hear a lot when we talk about investing or borrowing money. The rate is the interest rate, and that is um, a percent, of obviously, and what you have to do, of course, is change it into a decimal. So you do a little bit of a converting here, and that would be, in this case, 0 0.065. And the T is time, the time period that you're going to keep your money invested or the money amount of time you are going to borrow it. Okay. Now, the way the formula works is it has to be in years. All right. Now, you don't always borrow or invest things for entire years. So if it's for months or partial years, you have to kind of convert that into a decimal amount too. But the T in this formula stands for time in years. So in this case, if you want to know if you're going to borrow $5,000 or you're going to invest, give that money to someone else to hang on to, then the amount of interest you would have at the end of those two years would be 5000 times... 0.065 times 2. So it's just a simple multiplication and hopefully you put your decimals in the right place. All right, sometimes you're also asked then what's the total amount of money you would have or the amount of money you have to pay back in total if you borrowed it. And that of course would be added on to your original principal. All right, let's go ahead and look at another example. Mr. Phillips wants to invest $4,000 at 2.5% interest for three years. How much interest does he earn during this time and what will be his total amount? So the first of all, we need to find interest. Remember, it's P times R times T. And then we are going to just do some straight multiplication here. What's the principal? $4,000. What is the rate? 2.5%. Remember, that's 0 0.0. Two five, and what's the time in years it would be three so simple multiplication so we put that in the calculator and we're gonna get three hundred dollars ah very interesting three hundred dollars now again that's the interest so the total amount would be the three hundred dollars earned um, for mr. Phillips at the end of three years plus the principal, the amount of money he started with. So 300 plus 4,000 would be 4,300. All right, so if the total is asked for, you just add it on. All right, pretty simple example. Now let's look at some more. All right, numbers 17 through 20. The first number listed, of course, is the principal. And the rate is mentioned next. And the time, of course, is t so p times r times t now it says find the ending balance so you have to add whatever interest you get to the principal so it's in two steps all right click on pause and try this on a piece of paper and i'll show you the answers all right number 17 the final answer is one thousand forty nine dollars and seventy eight cents that's rounded to the nearest penny so here's how we got that use the formula p times r times t 970 times 0 0.047, don't forget the zero, times one and three fourths years. 
So let's convert that into a decimal. One and three fourths is 1.75. All right, now that will give us our interest answer. And then of course we have to add that on to 970. Okay, total of that answer you can see there. All right, number 18, did you get it right? All right, you're gonna take 520 times 0 0.05 times 6.5, which is six and a half years. You're gonna get, that as your interest answer, and then you're gonna add it on to 520. All right, hope you got that right. Number 19, you're gonna do the 41,300, that's your principal. That's gonna be 0 0.08, and then times two. So multiply those three numbers together. You're gonna to add that back on to 41,300. There's your answer. Number 20, here's your principal, here's your rate, and four and a quarter years, what's that? 4.25. All right, so multiply those three together. That will be the interest, then you add it on to that principal. All right, thank you so much for trying these problems. That's simple interest. Next video is gonna be about compound interest, which is where you are compounding or calculating throughout that time period. A little bit of a different formula. So look for that in my playlist and thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.